is the Amazon bladed jig kit worth purchasing? That's what we're going to look at right now. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It does help the channel. But we're going to talk about this bladed jig or chatterbait that most people call it on Amazon. In fact, they've had 848 reviews on this bladed jig. You get three of them for $11.99. And 565 people have given it five stars. And I want to say that again. 565 out of 848 have given this bladed jig a five star rating. So this bladed jig is number seven out of the top 100 baits on Amazon right now that are reviewed. And that's amazing, especially when you look at the price, four bucks each really, because you get three in a pack. But now what we need to do is we need to look at it in all steps. We're gonna look at sound, startup speed, vibration. We're gonna look at price, which I've already told you. We'll look at skirt, the trailer keeper. We'll look at the hook, and then we'll look at the presentation that they sent us. We're gonna give it a rating from one to 10. Now we've, I'm gonna go on that, the, the theory that a 10 is the jackhammer, and the zero is just flat out sucks. And we're gonna look at underwater video, some close up photos, and some other stuff and you want to note at the end, you can either agree or disagree if this is really that great. Okay, here we go. So the one thing about a chatterbait that most people like, or bladed jig most people like, is the sound that it has as it, as it comes back towards you. The, the blade is hitting the jig head as it goes back and forth to create that vibration and sound. Now there are ones that don't sound as loud as the jackhammer, like the Thunder Cricket or the Stealth Blade, but there's a pitch to all of them that entices or tells the fish that they're coming to them. Now the one from Amazon, obviously, will never hit that jig head. So it's getting a zero. It actually, you'll hear in the video, in the underwater, there's no pumps at all running in the pool. There's no sound. There's no sound. Now, startup speed is very important. When you can make that first cast, when you that bait hits the water, you want that, that bladed jig or chatterbait to start up as fast as possible. The jackhammer does it on the fall down. So does a lot of other ones. Now, the jackhammer is more expensive and has better components, but most of the chatterbaits, most good, decent chatterbaits, especially ones from Z-Man, start up all fairly fast. The Stealth Blade does well, the Thunder Crick from Strike Kick does well. They all start up as soon as you do, as you start reeling. This one, half the time didn't start up. Or, if you let it hit the bottom of the sea floor, it didn't work at all. If the blade somehow got tilted down and to the side, it never started at all. With a trailer and without a trailer. Half the time, the blade didn't start. So, start, start up speed, I'm giving two, and that's being generous. When you make that cast, you don't wanna have to give a full jerk or of the rod or a couple jerks of the rod to make the blade start working. As soon as you start reeling, that blade should start going back and forth. That is the vibration and the action that we want. If you have to constantly twitch your rod to get the bait to go three or four times, you've missed 10 or 12 feet right off the bat of distance in casting and while this is the smaller one and wasn't it isn't super heavy the casting distance wasn't good either I didn't even put that on here I'm gonna give the casting distance without even showing you any stuff a three so what catches fish on a bladed jig the vibration the vibration the action of the bait catches fish you'll notice as I the bait comes through the water when it's with a without a trailer it has that really erratic movement in the water kind of somewhat decent when you put a trailer on it it then starts to work like a, a normal chatterbait or bladed jig but in terms of action and vibration uh, of the rod it doesn't have as much vibration as the the jackhammer i would even say it doesn't have the vibration of the flashback minnow which is a lot smaller blade than this one so in terms of vibration on the rod tip I'm going to give it a three.
Now we get into price. When we look at the jackhammer, is sixteen to eighteen dollars right now. That's expensive, and I understand people want to have or get a, a lure that is that is priced right. But you have to remember, you get what you pay for. The jackhammer has the best components, the best hook, the best trailer keeper, the best skirt. It has everything is top notch. Thunder Cricket too. Even that new Berkeley slobber knocker it has all the right components to make it work well. While $4 is great for a chatterbait, you can get a Z-Man original chatterbait for that much. Or you can get a flashback minnow for $3.99 from Z-Man. And that is a fantastic price. A little bit smaller, probably doesn't cast as far as this one, even though this didn't cast well. But you can get one that thumps knocks and is proven to catch fish so for price when you know that there's other ones that are better than this and this is still four dollars each i'm going to give it a five we're going to get to the components of the bread and butter of the this bladed jig the skirt is decent it isn't really full it has a it's a wire tied skirt it isn't the worst it isn't the best so in terms of the skirt, I'm going to give it a six. The jig head there, I think the jig head, while isn't horrible, it's a fish eye. I think the 3D eyes are decent. It is, it's okay. So we're going to give it a five on the, the jig head itself. Here's where things get a little bit crazy in terms of the trailer keeper. Uh, this is a molded trailer keeper onto the jig. I don't know if you can see that. I'll do it in the, the photo booth. But the jig, the trailer keeper is crap, almost non-existent. They could put a little wire here, one, or a little extra thing here, and it might be a lot better. So the trailer keeper, I'm giving a zero. So in terms of the hook, this is the one that you'll see I actually bent with my hands. It isn't a stout hook. It isn't a good hook. Uh, the barb is not very good. The hook is just, again, you're getting what you pay for. In terms of the hook, this is not a hook I would ever want on, on a bladed jig. So in terms of the hook, I'm giving it a one. So the presentation of this bait was nice. You did get three of these in a little container, what they call tackle box, uh, that came in a container that was pretty decent. So for presentation wise and what, I, what I'm getting, it's something I will use, surprisingly. So for the, the presentation box, I'm going to give it a 9. <laughs> I mean, it's it's the best best uh, bladed jig chatterbait box or presentation thing I've ever gotten. So a 9 seems only fair. Actually, I'd probably spend $12 on the little box. <laughs> so there you have it. I don't know what the end-up score is, but it's not very good. I know if you're a new angler, I think getting this thing... At Amazon probably would make your day but I think if you did the research you could de definitely find out that this is not the way you want to start a lot of people complain that the blade fell off or the skirt fell off after a couple casts uh, the hook is just horrible the trailer keeper is not existent it doesn't make any noise I don't know how 565 people think this is a five-star uh, chatterbait or jig or bladed jig. It makes me think, what has Z-Man been, been doing wrong that people would rather purchase this over a flashback minnow or the OG chatterbait? I would not purchase this. I have three that are going in the garbage as soon as I'm done editing this video. So I hope you like this kind of content. Tell me what you think. What is your rating of it? Put it in the comment below. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Remember, take a kid fishing. Don't get these from Amazon. And we'll talk to you all soon. Cheers.